Um, our, our Bible lesson today is going to be about um, what happened after Easter, after um, after the Easter morning service. Okay, so this is Easter evening. All right. So Easter evening, the um, disciples are locked up in the what they call the kind of the upper room because they're afraid that the Jews are going to come and crucify them like they, they did Jesus because they knew him. So they didn't know what to expect. So they're all locked up in this room um, except for one of the disciples who probably went out to get something to eat. Uh, he probably went to get something to eat for all the guys. I don't know. But anyway, it was Thomas. So all of a sudden, this is Easter evening, all of a sudden... Um, Jesus is there. Like, holy cow, where did he come from? You know, he's just like, boom. And um, he says, um, peace be with you. And he's holding out his hands like this. And the disciples are like, <gasps> you know, they're probably a little afraid and they're a little excited. And they don't know how to feel because they saw him crucified on the cross. So um, they look at it. He puts his hands out and his feet and they, he shows him the nail holes from the thing. And, and then uh, they're overjoyed. The disciples are just so excited. Jesus is there. And Jesus says again, peace be with you. And then he tells them that um, he is going to, um, their father sent him. He is going to send them out into the world like his father sent him into the world. And he takes a deep breath. And he, I hope I don't have that. He blows out the Holy Spirit on all of the disciples there so that the disciples can go out and um, witness like Jesus did to the people. So it's like there's a bunch of bunch of Jesuses here, little Jesuses. <laughs> kind of the way to look at it, you know. And so, um, like I said, the, the people are overjoyed. And Jesus tells them that they're going to be able to um, forgive people. If people ask for forgiveness, they can forgive them. If they don't ask for forgiveness, they don't have to forgive them. But then there's one disciple missing, the one that went out for the food, Thomas. Okay? So um, Thomas comes back and he doesn't believe him. He doesn't believe Jesus was there. How do you think he'd feel about that? Okay? You got 10 other disciples that say they saw him. And Thomas said no. He didn't. I, he didn't believe that he was there. He didn't believe him at all. Well, here's what happens. A week later, Thomas is with them in that room, and guess what? Jesus appears again, and here he is with the holes in his hands and his feet. And um, Thomas says, "Oh my Lord, oh my Father, oh my Lord, you know, um, I see you, so I believe." And so Jesus tells Thomas said that um, because um, those who have not seen me and believe are blessed. Those who don't believe because they haven't seen me are not. So um, it took Thomas to actually see him, to, be to believe and have faith that Jesus was actually still alive because he never understood the resurrection. And so this is what this story is about, is Jesus coming back to tell the disciples that now it's their, they've been taught and they follow him. And now it's their job to go out and spread the message into the world. And so um, I kind of liken this to um, an airplane or a jet flying. Okay, so uh, you know that it's tested and they've flown for years and, you know, it's safe and it's probably safer than in a car. How many people are afraid to get on a plane? They don't have faith. And that's what we have to remember, that even though we can't see Jesus, we have to have faith. And like all of our songs today have said, it's our job to go out and tell people about that. So um, because it's Easter, we should be happy because Jesus rose again. And um, we want to be happy. And I, I think the best way to show people that we have Jesus in our heart is to be happy. Put a smile on your face. See, it doesn't matter if the braces show or not, does it? No, it's a smile. So just show people how happy you are with the, and be excited about Jesus, because without him, what would we have? Nothing to live for, would we? So just always remember that, and it's your job 
to go out and spread the word. Got it? Got it? Got it? Okay. That's your job. So live like Jesus would want us to live so others can see that. Okay, dear Heavenly Father, thank you for all of us gathered here today. Thank you that Jesus um, came back and to show us that we have something to live for and that we continually want to praise him and show how excited we are to have Jesus in our lives and that we want to share that with others so that they can have that same feeling of happiness. In his name we pray. Amen. Amen.